What would happen if you took a cold shower every single day for 30 days? Everywhere you turn, top athletes and celebrities are jumping into ice baths or using some form of cold therapy. And honestly, after digging into the research, I get why they're hooked. But what are the actual benefits you can expect? How cold does the water need to be? Could it help with fat loss or building muscle? And are there any downsides to be aware of? Let's break it all down. Well, you'll start experiencing benefits from cold exposure from day one. It might be the toughest day, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Exposing your body to cold activates three key hormones, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine. Together, they stimulate your sympathetic nervous system, your fight or flight response. This is what makes you feel a surge of energy and the urge to escape or yell while enduring the cold. Interestingly, these hormones remain elevated even after you're out of the cold for up to several hours, depending on the water temperature and how long you stayed in. The benefits? Improved mood, increased energy, and sharper focus. Similar to the rush you feel after a workout or a run, this effect is actually why some people find they no longer need coffee in the morning after switching to a cold shower instead. To get these benefits though, the water temperature matters. In one study, participants who immersed themselves in 60 degree Fahrenheit water saw significant increases in dopamine and norepinephrine, while warmer temperatures didn't have the same effect. I checked my own cold shower setting, and it was around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which should be achievable in most places. One way to know it's cold enough without a thermometer? Look for what's called the initial inspiratory gasp, that sharp inhale your body naturally takes when you first feel the cold. But, to keep feeling that mental benefit over time, there's one more thing you need to know. It's called attenuation. So over time, your body adapts to the cold, and the hormonal response seems to die down. Once you notice this, you can try making the water colder, or stay in it for longer, to continue feeling the benefit. Alright, we've covered the mental benefits, but what about fat loss? There's a popular theory that cold exposure boosts metabolism, as your body burns more calories trying to stay warm, potentially accelerating fat loss. So what does the research say? It's true that cold exposure can increase metabolism. Most studies show a metabolic boost of around 15%. However, a 2021 study found that cold water immersion significantly increased calorie burn, up to 50% in well-trained athletes. This raised their estimated daily calorie burn from 2,000 to 3,000 calories. Since one pound of fat is about 3,500 calories, in theory, these athletes could burn off a pound of fat every three days just from their cold exposure protocol. But what about muscle recovery and growth? This is where things get interesting. Ice baths have been used for years by elite athletes as a recovery method, and for good reason. Research shows they can speed up recovery by reducing muscle soreness, fatigue, and inflammation after a training session. Great for athletes needing quick recovery between events. However, if muscle building and strength gains are your goals, ice baths might actually be counterproductive. After a workout, your muscles undergo temporary damage and inflammation as part of the recovery process that helps them grow stronger and bigger. Taking an ice bath right after your workout can disrupt this process by reducing inflammation too soon. In fact, three studies have shown that cold water immersion immediately after training can significantly decrease muscle growth. To maximize muscle growth and strength, avoid ice baths directly after your workout. Instead, try them before training, wait at least 4-6 hours post-workout, or save them for a rest day. A quick cold shower after your workout likely won't negatively impact muscle growth, but it may not provide substantial recovery benefits either, so it might not be worth the risk. Alright, we've covered the mental benefits, fat loss, and muscle recovery, but there's one more benefit you should know about. In fact, it's the main reason I personally make the effort to include cold showers in my routine. Forcing yourself to withstand the discomfort of cold is a powerful way to strengthen your mind. One of the ways this works is by activating an area of the brain that helps suppress impulsivity, which can make it easier to stay calm and avoid overreacting to stress in everyday life. I have already made a video on fat loss which you will find interesting and beneficial for you. Check out by clicking on this thumbnail.